Hallelujah. Anybody in the house got a story? I say, is there anybody in the house got a story to tell? The Bible said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It's all right to praise God. Amen. The song says, and for this, I give you praise for my story. Anybody know what I'm talking about? For this, I give you praise. For every mountain you brought me over. I give you praise. Father God, in the name of Jesus right now, we come acknowledging you to be God and God all by yourself. Praise be unto your holy name right now. Praying now, Master, that you would speak to our hearts today. Someone is wounded in spirit right now. Speak a word to them today, Master. Someone is tied up in this old life of sin. Speak a word to them right now, Master. Each and every one of us in here needs you. So speak a word to us right now, Master. Anoint right now. Have your way in this sanctuary. Keep your hand upon us. Help us to do your will. And then, Master, we'll be forever careful to give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Let's do your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say amen. Amen. Amen.
Go with us to the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 8. Hebrews 13, verse 8. When you found it, say amen. Those of you who are able, will you please stand? Let us all read together at this time. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Today we want to preach from the text this same Jesus, this same Jesus. In the midst of all the change that is going on in the world today, the one constant among everything is that Jesus has not changed. People have changed. Prices in stores have changed. Even the weather has changed so much until you can get all four seasonings happening on the same day. That's how much things have changed over the years. But I'm so glad today that God the Father and His Son Jesus still remain the same. Anybody glad about that? I'm so glad that the miracles that were done in the Old Testament church was done by the same God that can perform the same miracles in the New Testament church. How many of you know that the God of the Old Testament is the same God of the New Testament? I realize that circumstances and situations and feelings and even folk that you thought were really crazy about you, I realize that all of that might change. But even if all that changes, I tell you again, the one constant that you can depend on not ever changing is this man named Jesus. Do I have a witness? Listen, trouble may change you. It may change your belief in Jesus, but trouble won't ever change Jesus' belief in you. Do you know that Jesus believes in you today? Jesus is always going to be the same. The word says in this text in Hebrews 13 and 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. But in order for us to understand who he is today, then I need to let you know what he did on yesterday. Yesterday, I read there were three Hebrew boys that were thrown down in the fire. But this same Jesus put the fire out without putting out the fire. Somebody here didn't get that. Somebody here didn't know that Jesus is what we call the fire chief. The fire chief stand, stands around outside the fire. But this fire chief gets down in the fire. When the fire chief got down in the fire with them, look, the fire didn't have no power over them. Look, the clothes that they had on before they were thrown in the fire still looked like the same clothes while they were in the fire. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Anybody in here know that you've been clothed in the righteousness of God? That's why although you're dealing with a hot situation right now, can't nobody tell it. Because Jesus is in the fire with you, and you look just like you did before that thing got hot. 
Oh, I wish I had. And look, some folk that know that you're going through still trying to figure out how you look like you look. They trying to figure out how you act like you act and do what you do. You ought to let somebody know I look like this because I'm wearing new clothes. Hey, I ain't talking about the kind that they sell in the store. You ought to let somebody know that I'm clothed in the righteousness of God. Look at how being clothed in the righteousness will do you. Look, if they would have had on some cologne when they were thrown in the fire, you will still be able to smell it. Because the Bible said the smell of fire wasn't even passed on them. That's one thing he did on yesterday. Yesterday, there was a woman with an issue of blood, which the Bible says she had for 12 long years. She had gone to many physicians, and instead of getting better, the Bible says she got worse. But one day, y'all, she heard about the chief physician. She heard about the chief of staff. She heard about the doctor that had never lost a patient. She heard about the doctor that had never been sued for malpractice. She heard about the doctor that always knows the right medicine to fit your situation. And without even having to run a test on her, the one that is above all doctors, the bomb in Gilead, I heard on yesterday that she said if I could just touch the hem of his clothes, the Bible says she felt in her body when she touched the hem of his garment that she was already healed. I don't know about you. You may be sick today, but just one touch from the master's hand will make everything all right. And I dare you to believe even before it happens. I dare you to tell somebody I'm already healed. Anybody know that you're already healed? May not feel the best right now, but do you know on the inside that you're already healed? I'm talking about this same Jesus. Yesterday, the children of Israel were trapped at the Red Sea. There was nothing but wilderness to the sides, Pharaoh behind them, and the Red Sea in front of them. But I read on yesterday, he opened up the Red Sea, and the children of Israel walked through on dry ground. And as soon as he saw that they all were safe, he closed the sea back up again so that the enemy couldn't get to him. I'm so glad that God will keep me safe and close up the sea. Heads me about, heads me all around so that when the enemy fires his darts, he can't get to me. None will come nigh me because my God got me heads in. I dare you to tell somebody I'm protected, I'm covered by the blood. Anybody know anything about the blood? The blood, it reaches to the highest mountain. The blood, it flows to the lowest valley. When my blood get low, his blood will keep me. When my blood gets high, his blood will keep me. Won't he keep you? The same Jesus. will keep me but that's what he did on yesterday somebody in here needs to know what about today I hear what you said what he did on yesterday but somebody in here in the fire today somebody in here got the red sea in front of them today Somebody needs to know what will he do on today. I read 
He's the same yesterday and today. So if he got down in the fire with the three Hebrew boys on yesterday, I believe that the same God will get down in your hot stuff right here today. Anybody believe that? Anybody believe that? That he'll dry it up? I said he'll dry it up. I don't care how wet it is. He's the same Jesus. That did all that yesterday. The Bible said he's the great I am. The Jews said, wanted to know whether Jesus was greater than their father Abraham. Jesus said, before Abraham was, he said, I am. When they asked Moses, who shall I tell Pharaoh that sent me? God told Moses, tell him, I am that I am. I'm so glad that God ain't no was, but he's a I am. I'm so glad that the God I serve, he existed in the past, he exists right now, and he exists in the future. I tell you, I'm glad that the I am is my father. I'm glad that he looks out for me. I'm so glad when Bill the do that I can call on him and he'll take care of me. He said, I am that I am. He's that because everything that he was in the beginning, when he stepped out on nothing, and created something out of nothing, he can still do that right now. Anybody believe that? He's the still same Jesus that's creating something out of nothing. Somebody in here ought to be telling the Lord, thank you right now for creating something out of nothing. Can I help somebody? I know you think you look good, and you do look good right now. God got some good looking children. He said everything he made was good and very good. But whatever you are right now, you need to recognize that you came from dirt. You came from nothing. But look at this, although you came from dirt, when the Lord looked at dirt, he didn't see dirt. He saw what he could make out of the dirt. Oh my God, I felt that one day. He saw through your dirt and saw you. Good God Almighty. How many of you know that you were dirty? You were filthy? You were nasty? But God saw through your dirt. And he saw what he can make out of the dirt. I'm so glad, Tina, when he looked at this dirt, he saw a preacher, he saw a pastor, he saw a loving man, it ain't just dirt. When he saw Tina, he didn't see no dirt. He said, I see a songbird, somebody that's going to lift up my name in song, yeah. I'm so glad that when he saw Deacon Hosey, he didn't see no dirt. One day, he gonna be a deacon in my house. He gonna wait on tables. He gonna be the chairman of the deacon board. No, that ain't just dirt, but that's somebody that I can make from nothing and making somebody Ain't you glad? Folk don't think you nothing. Folk don't think you nobody. But the Lord told me I am that I am by the grace.
grace of God, I am somebody. I am somebody. Tell yourself, I am. Somebody done broke another pack of glass. Did I say, say he'll fix it? I needed to be my eyes. Yeah, I needed to be my eyes. Because it gets hard to see now. But I believe that I'm going to see everything that's on that paper. If he made a blind man see, he's the same God. Y'all don't hear me in here. I ain't playing in here. I said, if he can make a blind man see, I got a little sight, so I know he can make me see. He's the same God yesterday that healed blind by the mills. So I declare in this house right now, I can see. Y'all don't know who we dealing with. We dealing with an awesome God. We we dealing with a God that's gonna take care of his child. Devil ain't getting no victory in here. Somebody tell the devil ain't no victory in the house. The victory is found in Jesus. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground. It's sinking, saying, read, boy. Just as the Lord knew what he was making back then, the same Jesus knows what he's making right now. Just because your situation ain't favorable right now, you better keep looking to the hills from which cometh your help. Oh, my help. It comes from the Lord. Has he ever helped anybody? Is he still helping you right now? Sir, my help, it comes from the Lord, the one that made heaven and earth. Listen, I need you to understand that whatever God told you he was going to fix on yesterday, he's still going to fix it today. I oh, somebody, please help me today. I said, he's, whatever he said, that he was going to fix yesterday. He's still going to fix it today. Hebrews 6.18 says there are two immutable things about God. It says it's impossible for him to lie and he does not change. See, God cannot lie and still be God because the Bible says he's the truth and ain't no lying in truth. So, 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 so if, if, if he's the truth, then he cannot lie. And what's so good about it, it ain't even possible for him to tell a lie. Right, that's what I like about it. Look, 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 that's one thing that makes him God. The Bible is his infallible word. Infallible means that it can't fail. So watch this. So if God had made you a promise on yesterday that you're still waiting to receive today, you don't even have to stress about it because the scripture just told us that it's impossible for him to tell you a lie. Look, look, so it's no longer a matter of will he do it. Somebody ought to walk with me on that. I say it's no longer a matter of will he do it. But somebody ought to just be wondering when God going to do it. Do I have any when he going to do it, people? Look at this. Jesus can't even slip up and tell a lie by mistake. So wherever, listen now, I got, I, I got this, Sister Carol. So wherever you are, Jesus can manifest it right where you are. So how, how, how can he do that, Sister Olsen? The Bible says that he's omnipotent. Is that right? 
So, Keto, you know what that tell me? I don't even have to tell him to go when he's already there. <laughs> Look, God ain't never got to go. He's already there. So since you already died, Jesus, I dare you to tell him, get down in my situation. Since you already here, manifest yourself in my stuff so that folk would know that the God that I serve, he's able. He's so fixed on being the same until any time he makes us a promise. The Bible said because he couldn't swear by none greater, he swore by himself. Look, look, watch it now. He said, get this. I, I need you to get this now. I just said that he swore by himself. Watch this, Brenda Howe. Look, look at this. He says, I'm going to make you a promise. Then I'm going to turn around and promise myself that I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do for you. Look, look, he said, not only am I going to promise you, but I'm going to promise me. And the Bible said all his promises are yea and in him that amen. So God said, whatever I promise you, I got to do it because I promised myself. Good God Almighty that I'm going to do it for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so glad that he done made me a promise. That whenever trouble is around me, that he'll be a very present help in trouble. How many of you know that whatever God has spoken, he's well able to perform it. His character is such that he can't not fail. Since he can't fail, then the things that we go through with him and in him, they can't fail. Look at how truthfully the word, the word declares that Jesus was slain before the foundation of the world. It's in there, Colette. It said before the world was ever formed, Jesus was slain. But the key to what I'm trying to show you is that it took over 4,000 years before it manifested. Remember that ought to encourage somebody that God is still working it out for you, although it's been four days. Although it's been four weeks. Although it's been four months. It ain't been 4,000 years. It still lets me know that God's going to manifest this thing in due season. The word says that if you hold on in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. Anybody going to hold on to God's unchanging hand? That's why I want anybody going to hold on no matter how hard this thing gets. Or you're going to keep your hand in the master's hand regardless of what it looks like. I tell you, I'm so glad that he still is the same as he was before he got slain. Not only did Jesus stay the same, but his word and his power, they stay the same too. Is there anybody know that Jesus, he still got power? Just as Peter, he won't change on you. Peter denied him three times before the cock crowed. He went out bitterly weeping, weeping because of it. He probably thought Jesus was through with him after what he did. Anybody ever been there? Have you ever thought that Jesus was through with you after that? As bad as that was, did you ever feel like Jesus don't want me no more? Oh, y'all might as well tell the truth. I've been there. I'm talking about when I did my dirt. Since I've been saved. When I was low down since I've been saved. I started to kind of feel like after what I've done, Jesus must don't want me no more. But do I have a witness that can say that I'm glad that he didn't cut me off, but he kept on loving me anyhow. Just like he did, Peter, Jesus kept on loving me. Do I have a witness that just messed up not too long ago? Last week, yesterday, or maybe this morning. But Jesus, 
just keep right on loving me. He's the same today. Revelation 1 and 7 says that this same Jesus, the one that made us kings and priests, this same Jesus, the one that made us a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, this same Peter that saved an old wretched sinner like you and me, it's the same Jesus that we going to see coming back on the clouds. Even the one that's blind on that day, they going to see Jesus. The one that pierced them in his side. The one that spit on him. The one that mocked him and talking about him. The one that was hollering Hosanna, Hosanna. And then turned around and crucified him. The one that gave him vinegar to drink. The one that whooped him. The one that beat him. This same Jesus. The one that sat at the note of the builders. This same Jesus. The stone that the builders rejected. This same Jesus. The chief cornerstone. This same Jesus that I rejected for years and years. This same Jesus that you rejected for years and years. But because he loved us, he's not willing that any should perish. But all should come to repentance. This same Jesus picked me up when I was down. This same Jesus healed my body when I was sick, even before I got saved. This same Jesus loved me when I didn't deserve to be loved. This same Jesus brought me from death into life and has translated me into his family. This same Jesus, he's not dead. But he's risen. I read that the question was asked. Why stand ye here gazing all the day long? But this same Jesus, the same one that you saw going up, will be the same one that's coming back again. Anybody know that he's coming back for a church? With that spot or wrinkle, the same Jesus that died, he's going to rise again. And now he's seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercessions for me. So when I mess up, I can call on him. When trouble comes, I can call on him. When I get tired sometimes, I can call on him when I can't hardly see my way. This same Jesus, he'll show up in my attitude. He'll show up in my gratitude. This same Jesus will have mercy on me when I mess up. This same Jesus will help me clean up. What I messed up when I do wrong, this same Jesus will help me make that wrong a right. The same Jesus, when I don't know how to pray, his Holy Ghost will pray on my behalf. I tell you, I'm so glad that this same Jesus Keep right on loving me. Do you know him? Have you tried him? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? If he's all right, you ought to shout hallelujah. You ought to shout hallelujah. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? My lily on the valley. My bride and morning star, what's his name? Do you know his name? Call him, call him, call him. If you need him, 
I dare you to call him. Say. Say. He's a say. What he did for Daniel. What he did for Moses. What he did for Abraham. He's the same Jesus. He'll do it for you. He ain't changed. Told Abraham. I'm going to give you a song. All them years. Abraham said, Lord. You don't wait until I got old. You talking about a, I'm going to have a song. Wife start laughing. Y'all look at her like she's crazy, but 99 years old. You got to admit, you'll think the same thing. Ain't no way. After all them years, the same Jesus that told them that years ago showed up. And a woman that wasn't supposed to be having no children. Not at that age. Walking around with a pot belly. All because of this same Jesus. Can I come down your street? Somebody in here was told that you will never have no children. But this same Jesus. Whatever he did back then. That's all we're talking about. That's what Ty Trippett said, didn't he? Said if he if he did it before, he said the same God right now. And I believe that. Because I've been in some hot situations. Anybody been in some hot? Did Jesus get down? Did he get down and he leave you down there? He's the same today, yesterday, and forever. He ain't going to change on you. If he got you out before, please hit me somebody. He ain't stopped loving you. Bro, Charles, I'm learning that hard time can be happy times. So, Rue, I'm learning the more I praise God in the midst of that thing. Sister Mary, look like when I praise him in the midst of that thing, it don't take him that long to come. <laughs> look like he gets in a hurry. To come see about me. I say when I praise him. Now, let me get some weight off somebody. Anybody in the thing right now? You ain't got to name it. You know ain't God know. I said, are you in the thing? I call it the thing because it's your specific thing. Are you in the thing? I, I dare you to praise him right now then. I say, if you're in the thing. Now, you ain't in the thing. You just shut up. But somebody that's in the thing right now and ready to come out the thing, I dare you to tell God, Lord, I trust you. Job said, though he slay me. That's what he said Wednesday night. He said, though he slay me. Anybody trust him today? Anybody trust him today? Get your happy on then. 
Get your happy on if you trust. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile and tell God, thank you. You look so much better when you smile. I dare you to smile. Watch this. That's all you got. That's all you got the best you can do. You ain't got nothing else. Let me in the If you got something left in the tank, let me hear you tell God thank you. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. My soul says yes. Yeah, Lord. Talk to me, somebody. If the storms don't cease, and if the wind keeps on blowing in my life, my soul, my soul is anchored. I said, my soul is anchor in the law. I may get tugged a little bit, but my soul. I feel that thing. I got feel that. Listen, right where you are, right now, right where you are, I dare you to drop ankle right there. Let me say that again. Wherever you are in that thing, if you're in the middle of it, if you're on the edge of it, if you just got in it, wherever you are in that thing, I dare you right now. I dare you to drop anchor. What do you mean, Pastor? When you tell me to drop anchor, I dare you to bless the Lord at all times. In the good times, I dare you to bless the Lord. When things ain't going so well, drop anchor. Look at your name and say, neighbor, it's time to drop anchor. Say drop, 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 drop anchor. In the law, my soul, my soul shall make a boast in the law. Folk going to hear me. Good God of mine. Somebody going to hear me praising God. I've refused to let my problem shut up my praise. The devil is a lie. Yeah, pastor got some problems, but I still will bless the Lord. I don't know about you, but I don't need nobody. 
to praise the Lord. Hey, I can be an army of one. Tell God, thank you. Appreciate you, Lord. You believe me the same? You believe me the same? You believe me the same? You believe God is still the same? I heard you singing that song. Come on, can't nobody do me like Jesus. That's what you say. And you're right. Can't nobody allow you to get in what you into and still make a blessing out of what you're going through. You're right. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Keep waiting. Don't quit. It's going to manifest. Do you hear me? It's coming to pass. It's just a matter of time. Everything, you can't microwave everything. Let me say that again. I said you can't microwave everything. Something got to get in the oven and cook for a little while. Sometimes when that thing get in the oven, you got to wait a little time for it to rise. <laughs> hey! Because when you see it rising, you say to yourself, it's almost done. I dare somebody in here to say it's rising. I say it's rising. It's rising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's rising in my life. If you know it rising, tell him thank you ahead of time. Yeah, I know it's rising in my life. That's how I think. I think with, 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 with something going to rise in my life. Every day I get up, I feel like something rising in my life. In other words, I expect to be blessed when I get up. We're going to start right there. He's the same. He ain't changed. Supernatural stuff. Y'all remember all them supernatural miracles you read about in the Old Testament? He's still the same God that can do it right now. Folk been healed from cancer. That's supernatural. Folk been healed from AIDS. That's supernatural. Folk that used to drink every day, smoke every day, hallelujah. I can shout hallelujah because that's me. Oh, God, I thank you. That same God. Heal me. Has he done it for anybody else? Man, can y'all remember that? Huh? Romeo, can you remember that? You remember that, bro? Just shop, you remember that? Draw your picture back in your mind just for a second. You remember that? Remember sitting off in that club? (laughs) 
you will pad toe up from the flow up. Because if you like me, you couldn't see the flow. Oh, I'm just telling the truth. So mine went past from the flow up. I, I, talking about me, I can see where I was. I ain't had no God on my mind. Just doing what I want to do, Sister Ruby. I, I thought it, I, I truly thought it was my thing. I was. But watch this. I, I'm just, I, I, I just want to talk to some real folk. No matter what I was doing, look like every time I passed by the church house, look like something would just prick me. Boy, I had Bob Marley just pumping. I'm just talking about me. I'm going down the road just rocking. Me and Bob, and I was doing what Bob was doing. But then I pull up by the church. And I reach over there and I turn my music down. I'm talking about before I got saved. And even what I was doing, for a few seconds, bro, Marcus, I drop it. And bro, Rob, I, even then, I remember saying, Lord, I sure don't want to go to hell. I'm talking about me. That may not have been you. I'm talking about me. Why was I saying that? Because I already knew. At that point, with what I was doing and how I was behaving, if I would have left right then in hell, I was going to lift up my eyes. But somebody say, but God. He did me the same way he did the children of Israel. No matter how many times they messed up, he just kept sending people at them. He sent for me. Deborah, he looked at this dirt. That ain't all I made him to be. I put more than that in him. I put more than that in her. That ain't who I call her to be. I want her to produce the fruit of who I made her to be. Right now, God is speaking to you. It's time for you to heed the call. And let God change your life. As we sing, why don't you come right now? Listen, don't listen to all them other voices telling you, no, don't, no, no. Hear God today. He says, now is the time. Please stand. Now is the acceptable time. That's right. Say that, say that. Say that, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. It belongs to me. Hallelujah. I shall help. It's time. That's all I'm saying, it's time. Yes, I it's time. It belongs to me. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. This time, so I'm going to praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God. Oh, he ain't through. Speaking to the he ain't through. We're going to let God be God in this house right now. There's too much going on in the atmosphere. You can't stay where you are. You can't.
can't stay where you are. You can't stay where you are. Yes, I believe. Not today. It belongs to me. Shake them, Lord. Shake them, Lord. Shake them, Lord. I shall have. <laughs> Shake them, Lord. Shake them. Yeah. Shake them, Lord. But I decree. Yeah, yes, Lord. I believe. Praise God. Praise God. Let go and let God have his way. So I'm going to speak. Put it up there. Put it out there. You know what you need for God to do in your life. Put it out there. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Ain't but one God. Ain't but one true and living God. Whatever it is, just speak. Open up your mouth. Come on, somebody. Quit being scared in the house. Speak what you need from the Lord. Speak what you need, Lord. Declare it. 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 Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Come on, come on. Open up your mouth. It's mine. Say that. Say that. It's Say mine. that like you mean. It. Say that like you mean. It. It's mine. The devil don't want you to speak that. Speak that. My healing. It's mine. My joy. It's mine. My peace. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Say yeah. 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 God. Just speak. I hear you, God. Speak. I hear you, God. Speak. 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 Stay right there. Speak. speak. Stay right there. Stay right there. Speak. speak. I hear you, God. Speak. 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 Just speak. Speak. Just speak. What you gonna speak? Speak something. Speak Just something. Speak. speak something. Speak. Speak something. Just speak. Speak something. Speak something. Healing. Speak something. Deliverance. Speak. Speak. Just speak. Just speak. Just speak. Just speak. Open up your mouth. Just open up your mouth. Come on, somebody. Just open up your mouth. Come on, saints. Come on. Open up your mouth. Come on, speak in here. Open up your mouth. Come on, speak in here, saints. Come on. Open up your mouth. Open your mouth up and speak. Just open up your mouth. Just open yeah, 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 yeah. Just speak. Yeah, yeah. Just speak. Just speak. Just speak. Tell them it's mine. Tell them it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Somebody say that. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Hallelujah. It's mine. On you it's mine. To ask for it's it. mine. It's yours. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. God's got a blessing with your name on it. Say he that. Want you to claim it. Say that. Say that. Just reach up and claim it. Oh, reach up and claim it. 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 Declare 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 it. It will be yours. 
If you ask in the name, declare it, declare it, declare it, heal in the house, heal in the house, heal in the house, heal in the house, Lord. We went home, not the break. Healing in the house, Lord. Because you all over the house, we speak healing. Lord, you break through all over the house right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Declare Break through in the house right now. Declare we speak it in the name of Jesus. Declare we declare it in the name of Jesus. All over the house right now. Spirit of the living mine. God, walk this house right now. It's mine. Walk this house, Holy Ghost. It's walk mine. this house, Holy Ghost, right now. Walk it's all mine. over this place. Just open up your mouth. Just open up your mouth. Just speak that thing. Just speak that thing. Extend your hand out to the altar right now. Yes, I believe. If you believe, you're going to have what you decree. It be awesome Put it out to the altar. I believe, therefore I speak. Put it out to the altar right now. What Hold it out to the altar, God. And God, I believe it. Tell him, Lord, I believe I'm going to have what I decree. I believe it belongs to me, God. Can't no devil in hell do nothing about it. I believe it belongs to me. The enemy can't stop what you got for me. The enemy can't hold back what you done declared me to have. Yes, I believe. Woo! Jesus. I shall have. I believe what I decree. Therefore, I speak. Yes, I believe it belongs to me. So I'm going to speak. Speak into the atmosphere, yeah. Somebody holding back on God this morning. Somebody holding back on God. Don't hold back. You know what you need. Somebody hold. Don't hold back. Go to God right now. The atmosphere is conducive for you to talk to him right now. Don't hold it back. Don't worry about all these folk in here. Don't hold it back. You need a breakthrough in your life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Speaking to the atmosphere. Don't hold it back. Yeah. One more time. One more time. Put them out. Put them out. Put them out. Put them out right here. Just as if you were at the altar. Just like you're at the altar. Extend those hands out to the altar. I just want to talk to somebody with some real belief while you still got your hands out. 
Somebody that got some real belief. I, I, I don't, we ain't, we ain't talking about playing church. Somebody that got some real belief. Somebody that got their hands extended to the altar. Tell the devil. I will not be denied. If the believers are on one accord and we all say that together, I believe we can move some. Tell the devil, I will not be denied. Come on, y'all, let's complete this thing because it's got to be at least three times for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Tell the devil, I will not be denied. Not be denied. Somebody give God a hand clap of praise in the house. Somebody tell God thank you ahead of time in the house. I ain't got it yet, Niffy, but I tell him thank you. Glory, I ain't got it yet, but I tell him thank you. Bridget, I ain't got it yet. Brandon, I ain't got it. I ain't got it yet, Tara. I ain't got it yet. I ain't got it yet. You read up, I ain't got it yet, but I still tell him thank you. True. I said thank you. Timothy, I said thank you. Jeremy, I said thank you. Lee, I said thank you. Fanny, I said thank you. Brenda. I said, thank you. Naya, Tina, I said, thank you. Sister Lynn, I said, thank you. Tora, I said, thank you. Melanie, I said, thank you. Cardo, I said, thank you. I said, thank you. Here you go. Hold up. Emmanuel Church family, welcome Sister Renee Butts. Jesus. 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 